Dinky Dolly by the Bari. I can admit I like the party. So I just left my Dun Buddy's house picking up some Dun, and I wanted to show you guys the freak. This thing is heavy. Like I thought it was a little plat, like a tiny little plastic gumball machine. No, this thing is freaking heavy. But I got one, like, yeah, and it's huge for three dollars. I, I, I was just like, how is this three dollars? This could have easily been a ten dollar, five to ten dollar item at the Target. portion of the video found some good stuff let's jump right in of course we're starting with everything that is not done related first thing I found were these love you kiss me be mine little wooden signs here so love you kiss me be mine this was three dollars from the Target dollar spot I don't know exactly what I'm doing with these yet I, I didn't want to put these on a tiered tray so I may do that. Next, I grabbed this little truck with eggs on it. And the eggs are so cute. I don't know why I'm obsessed with these little trucks. Now I, I kind of got into them around Christmas. Uh, but this was from Marshalls for $6.99. So really cute. And the last thing that I got that is not done related was this Valentine's Day throw. Um, I got this from Marshalls for $16.99 and it's just a black and white with the O in the um, with the O in the shape of a heart so oh it's so soft oh my god it's so soft so let's jump into the duh. first thing I got was this egg hunting mug with the soft blue in it and this is more of a matte finish so this was from Marshalls. Honestly, I don't need a lot of Easter mugs because I have so much Easter. I'm probably not gonna get a lot of Valentine's for next year because I have so much Valentine's. I actually have so much Valentine's that I actually had to return a lot of stuff today. The next thing I found was this green tea with the darker green. Um, this does come in a lighter green uh, interior. Uh, this was found at TJ Maxx. The next mug I got is just this really cute purple Hey You. I found this at TJ Maxx. Now this is another color that would have been perfect for um, Easter and spring. Um, I don't know. I may just utilize this for Easter. Uh, find a decal and use the back. Um, I do have a few ideas coming up for that that I wanted to share with you guys. The next one is just this little mug that says play. I solely got this for Addie because um, she likes to play and she could have her own little 
done mug and it does have the orange interior also picked up the hubba hubba in the purple oh my god this purple is so gorgeous hubba hubba i thought it would be cute for my i hate, I hate this word i hate the word hubby Hub, oh my god but i thought it was cute because i will soon have a hubba hubba husband so <laughs> Now this mug, I don't think I'm going to keep only because I bought it after the fact that I put up all of my Valentine's done and I don't have any space for it. And I had, I literally had four Love, Win, Love Wins mugs, but I thought this one was cute because it did have the topper, $9.99 from Marshalls. I thought this one was really cute and I could not pass up on it. It's just the hop into spring mug with the wooden top or you can use this as a coaster. These were $7.99 from TJ Maxx. I think there's another blue one that circulates. I really wanna get my hands on that. Honestly, as far as like any other like basic Easter mugs, I don't think I need, honestly, if we're being honest. The next mug I grabbed was this Bunny Love mug and I'm not, 200% sold on it only because it's a mat. I don't know why she's transitioning into making more mats. But I solely got it because of the saying on the front. I thought the saying was really cute, but wouldn't this be really pretty in like a shiny finish or a glossy finish? I don't know. My opinion. I don't know. Super unicorn and I finally got my hands on two of them. The cutie with the topper, I cannot wait to show you guys my hutch. I'm not completely done with it, and plus I have maybe two more weeks left in January to complete it, <sighs> but I used the topper. Oh my God, I love this. I love this cutie mug with the topper. I just love this color scheme. I love the pinks, the blacks, and the whites. You guys know that because that's what I decorated Eddie and Marley's room. Those are their color things. Oh my God, I love this. $9.99 from Home Goods. I could not believe I saw as many as I saw whenever I went shopping. So I was stupid excited about that. The next mug I got was this Soulmate mug. Of course, I've gotten this in a ton of colors. I solely got this one for the topper. I know, I know, I know, I know that I was not a topper girl and I'm never a gnome girl. But when you display these with the toppers, they're so, stinking cute so i'm actually going to use this on a watercolor uh mug so yeah gearing up for the summer bee collection i love this so it's just a queen mug with the yellow handle and the wooden top love 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 this oh my god so cute and it has the little bee on it so cute, this was $7.99. These next two mugs I solely got for trades. I do not decorate for St. Patrick's Day, but I did pick up the Kiss Me with the legs and the Irish Coffee with the legs. Again, I won't be displaying any of the St. Patty's Day. Um, I just don't really celebrate St. Patrick's Day. $9.99 from Marshalls. Also picked up the Pastel Pink XOXO. I don't know exactly what I'm doing with this one yet. I did return the red, I think it said Be Mine, I don't know. But I'll, I had so much of the red, you guys, that I was, it was coming out of my ears. I had so much of the red. I had to get rid of some of that. This was $9.99 from TJ Maxx. Finally found the Farm Fresh and Free Range. It was a set. And this set was $12.99 from Home Goods. I really want to use the Farm Fresh for an Easter display. And I also picked up this one. So now I'm kind of confused because I also have the Robin's Eggs. Um, this one just seems like it would be a little bit more fitting for Easter because it does have the blue trimming and it is the Robin's Eggs. I don't know. So I don't know. Which one would you do for Easter? Would you go with the... Farm Fresh or Free Range or the Robin's Egg. Let us know. And by the way, the Robin's Egg was also $12.99 from TJ Maxx, which is very strange because both of these were $12.99. I picked up the Jam and Jelly. I know everybody 
this is like a staple piece for your done collection I'm not too big on the jelly and jam I don't know I just I just feel like I don't need it so part of me got it for trade part of me got it for uh, FOMO fear of missing out so I don't know what we're gonna do with this yet. This was $16.99 from Home Goods. Now this one, I wanted. When I saw it debut, I really wanted this one. This one is the honey and jelly. This just seems more practical. This seems more practical. You use honey, you use jelly. You don't use jam and jelly. I don't know. This just seems more practical. Plus it's black and I can use it in the in-between months with the black and white done. So perfect for that. This was also $16.99. I also picked up the salt and pepper stacker here. Uh, I thought this was really, really cute. I didn't like it when I saw it in just the white done. So um, I wanted to pick it up $7.99 from Home Goods. And I also picked up a yum soup bowl from Home Goods. I really, really wanted some bowls to start adding to the collection, and I found this one. This was $7.99 Home Goods. Another chubby candy that I got was the Happy Easter in the Gold. I only grabbed this one because I don't think I'll have any luck finding the Happy Easter with the black, right? And I do have a really cool idea that I want to try. I don't want to tell you guys yet. I want to get the decals here and see if they actually work. But I will be trying to do this for Easter. So, and it does come in this really light pastel pink color. So, next item I got, I finally got my hands on the XOXO with the heart on the back. Oh my God, I literally looked up on two of these after work one night. Love this. Got this from Marshalls. I also picked up a love candle for the Valentine's Day Hutch. Of course, these are extremely expensive. $12.99. Smells horrible, oh my God. But I wanted it because of the same. Next, I picked up this hot cued pink little plate here from TJ Maxx, $4.99. I don't necessarily know if I need it because I haven't pulled out the majority of the Easter yet, so I don't really know, but I just felt like I needed a pink one. There was one color that I didn't get last year that I have to put my hands on and I, somehow I thought it was a pink one. I also picked up this towel set from Ray Dunn, $6.99. It just says, I hope you guys can see that. It says hip hop and love my peeps. So cute. I have started to see some of the Easter towels rolling out. This was just the first yellow set that I saw. So I'm excited about this. I picked up this red bird house from a local dunner. Um, it just says love. I really, really, really wanted to pair this with the Valentine's in the kitchen, but I have completely run out of space. So I'm going to see if I can do a little display under the TV in that little um, area there with this. This was $19.99, of course, from Home Goods. Next, I have the Love Struck Baby Candy here uh, from Dunn. Oh my God, this one was one of my really, really sought after items this year. This in the Candy Hearts canister. So um, when my friends looked up and said, hey guys, I found a set of these for you. There's four of us in our like Dunn group. When she found the set of these for us, I was like, oh my God, you're so perfect. So she found this one at Marshall's for $14.99. Alrighty guys, so this next item I wanted, I wanted this in a different shade and whenever they would have these online, because I have never seen these in store, in two years I've never seen these in store. I really, really wanted the green one, but I got the, is this the chunky, what do you call them? Jumbo, chubby, the chubby jelly beans here. So cute, but, I'm actually, whenever I get done filming this, I'm actually about to do a DIY with this one because I'm just tired of looking. So I'm going to spray paint this one. I'm probably gonna put that in another video to stay tuned and see how that turned out. Keep watching. <laughs> when I first saw this one, I was not a big fan. I actually thought it was extremely hideous, 
but I kept walking past it and I was like, okay, she's growing on me. I found the Tweet Heart here candy from TJ Maxx. And can you believe this one was $16.99? I was expecting to pay $19.99 for this one. I love the saying, I love the pastel pink of it. Really, really nice. Tweet Heart, I thought that was cute. I just hate this topper. I absolutely hate this. I feel like it's looking at you. It is, it's looking at you. Also picked up this Roses Are Red planner here. I do like the planners. I am gonna try and keep this one. I, I was on the fence about this one. I didn't know if I wanted to, to keep it or not, but I do think I wanna keep this one because I do want to see if I can put it on the mantle with a cute little idea. This was $12.99 TJ Maxx. The last item, you guys, could not believe I got my hands on one. And I know I said I really wasn't into them, but got it home and She's actually really cute. I have an iridescent mug. I found one, well I didn't find it, but a buddy found it for me. It's really, really nice. And the only reason why I didn't want it, you guys, I did not think it would fit in with the decor of the hutch. I was thinking all those colors clashing, this iridescent mug would just stand out like a sore thumb. But for the hutch, I think this will be perfect. Oh my God, I cannot wait to show you guys the hutch. I'm so excited about that. So that's everything in the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. What were some of your favorites? What's on your iOS? Let me know. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.